Hi there, hi there. I'm Marie Daniels, your San Diego local re realtor, and we've got some things to think about right now. I mean, it's important because now is the time. So why don't we get right into it? So here's the thing. You've probably seen it all over the place, but right now it's uh, the busiest season for real estate is just around the corner. Spring is upon us and buyers are ready to get out there and start looking and start putting in offers. So what does this mean for you if you have been thinking of listing your home this spring? Well, it means uh, you're running out of time to get your shit together. <laughs> I'm kidding, but not really. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into prepping a home before it goes to uh, the MLS and it gets listed. And depending on your schedule, you may need more or less time. So, you know, you really need to think about this. Um, it's currently early February and now's the time for you to start those tasks. Um, so get your trusted real estate agent on um, contract, please, so that they can start helping you with the planning of the preparations that need to be done to get your house uh, market ready. Um, now, here's something that I like to talk to people about because they don't really love this part, but um, your realtor is there to also do a very important step, which is to look at your home with a critical eye. Now, this can be painful sometimes because when you live in your home, it's hard to see what a complete stranger or a potential buyer might see when they are touring your home. So your realtor is there to really kind of be that critical eye for you to help you figure out exactly what your um, potential buyers may be seeing. Now, I know this can be painful, but think about this. Your realtor really is there to help you get top dollars. So taking this feedback um, and really considering the suggestions is going to only be in your benefit. So um, there's a lot of work that goes into getting a listing from contract to live on the MLS. So let's talk about that because a lot of people don't understand what it takes to get a home ready before it even gets to the, the MLS. So for instance, here's where I start. I start with Apple, A-P-E-L, and that's assess, plan, execute, and then list. So let's go through that and tell, so that I can explain to you what that means. So you have to assess the home. You assess the home inside and out, plus you also assess the neighborhood in comparison with your home, right? So what are you assessing? You're, you're assessing the cleanliness of the home, the organization of the home, repairs that might need to be done, the aesthetics, um, you know, color schemes, for instance, that maybe need to be neutralized, um, the curb appeal, if the yard has been neglected for a little bit, um, the furniture of the home, maybe it needs to be staged. Um, and you also need a home value report so that you know what a buyer is um, comparing your home to in the neighborhood. Because I guarantee you when a buyer comes through that door, if they are with their agent, they've already got a comparative analysis as well. So they know what your house should be worth and they will know if your house is priced right or not. Um, planning. So what is there to plan? Well, the listing details. So these are important listing dates, uh, marketing plan, the pricing plan, um, deadlines that you need to plan for services and chores. Um, what does that mean? Okay. So you've got to plan for the inspections, cleaners, landscapers, window cleaning services, staging, handyman, um, photography, uh, so after that, you've got to execute all those things. And that means getting the disclosures signed from you because you've got to go through your home and you've got to uh, fill out disclosures. Um, you have to plan and ready the home for the open house. Maybe there's going to be multiple. Uh, you have to produce and finalize all of the marketing. You have to approve the social media and the advertising that may be going out. Um, as a real estate agent, I have to get on the pitch list for the broker's caravan to make sure that I know that all those brokers have heard about this brand new listing that's coming to market. Uh, and then I also need to call my buyers or agents that are potentially looking in the area that your home is located in, right? Um, and then we have to review and finalize the final listing details before we can put it on the MLS for either a coming soon announcement or the live listing dates. And then we finally get to list. We go live on the MLS and the marketing machine begins, right? 
Well, that can be a lot. And depending on the extent of the work that's needed to get a house listing ready, um, it could take more time than you expect. Uh, One thing sellers and inexperienced agents may not think about is that because spring is the busiest season uh, for real estate, many of the good quality service providers that are out there get scheduled real quick. Okay, and what can happen is that if you don't get on their schedules quickly enough, uh, that either causes delays or it will force it will force you to have to take um, take on providers that maybe either are not the best to work with or you don't know anything about them, and that could be difficult and a little bit scary, right? Because all of your listing dates and all of your marketing is all planned out. So if these things get delayed, it pushes everything back and that's not good. So if you are listing your home and that's on your mind for this spring, I suggest you get started ASAP. And if you're in San Diego um, and would like to have a conversation with me about getting your home on the market this spring, well, then just give me a call, text me, send me a um, direct message, um, you know, right away so that we can sit down and chat about what that looks like and what your time frames are. Um, if you think that this was helpful, uh, send this to someone who needs this to hear this, you know, it's, um, And if you have any real estate topics that you want to hear more about, go ahead and DM me your question. Let's get a conversation started. And, you know, if you like what you heard today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and hit that little bell so that you are notified next time I do another video. All right. Well, um, I hope that this was helpful for you all. We'll chat again very, very soon. And you have an absolutely wonderful week. Thank you so much. We'll talk soon.